Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a bit more work today on our eucalyptus bowl. Um, now I've been looking at this over the last few days, trying to gauge where I want to go with it. And I think what I'm going to start doing is smoothing down these corners, trying to bring this much more into more of a round shape. Now I've been a little bit um, cautious about using my axe for this, um, but the only real alternative I've got is either a knife or maybe a draw knife and sort of to try and carve these round. Um, and that's going to be a hell of a lot of work. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start off using my axe. I'll probably choose the biggest corner, which I think is this one. Um, just to give it a try, I'll start right on the end. So if we do get any splitting or big bits getting split off, um, hopefully there'll be enough left to salvage. Um, now, we've seen this in the last couple of episodes. It's getting smaller and smaller each episode, which is good. A lot of the waste wood is coming away. Um, and that's really what I'm going to be doing sort of between sort of now and the next few episodes, really. Um, you know, we've got the bowl in, we've got the generalised shape. Um, and really, I'm trying to think of ways to either keep these episodes fairly short or at least fairly interesting. Because really, all we're doing now, and if you excuse the pun, um, we are just chipping away at this waste wood now, getting to sort of a you know, more to work towards the final finish. Um, so what I'll do, I'm going to move the camera just a little bit closer in and we'll make a start on these corners. Right then guys, so I am going to start on this corner here, which is the biggest out of the lot. Um, and what you need to remember here is that you don't want to be trying to take off large pieces of material. You don't want to start in sort of a high up here. You need to be starting down here. So if you do get a split, if you're only trying to take off the first sort of maybe the first inch of that corner, if it does split, uh, which hopefully it won't, then at least you're going to have a bit more material left. Um, you know, so it won't do too much damage. So I'm going to make a start um, and we'll just see how this plays out. Okay, working okay so far. Um, as I say, I'm a bit, a bit cautious with this because it's quite a knotty wood, you know, very twisty in the grain. And you'll notice, you know, I'm taking off really, really small um, pieces of material here. You know, I'm not, as I say, trying to take off big chunks, which is, is something I often see people do. Um, and it is very tempting. You think, right, you know what, I'll come up here and try and split off a massive piece. But actually, it really can end up being quite counterproductive. Okay, so that's just a couple of minutes worth of work. And hopefully, if I bring this a bit closer, you can see what it is I'm going for here. Still a lot of waste wood to remove, but what we're trying to do is just curve this round to follow the shape of the bowl. Um, so I'm gonna carry on. I won't bore you with loads of this, um, and I'll come back once I've made a bit of progress. Right then guys, we're about halfway through and I thought I'd just show you a quick uh, update. So this is the side obviously we've been working on, much more rounded uh, than the side that we haven't yet touched. Um, to give you a comparison on the ends, so that is the end we've not started working on and this is the end we've been doing a bit of work on. Now obviously I still need to come down here and sort of start smoothing this down and getting rid of this waste wood here. Um, I may do that in another episode, I may just do it off camera because it is very much of the same. But you can kind of see what the top end of the bowl is going to start looking like and I think like in profile like this, I think it makes such a sort of stark difference between where we started and where we are now. Um, so I'm going to carry on with the corners that I've not yet worked on um, and I'll come back when I I am done.
Right then guys, so I think that's about it for today. Um, as you can see, we have now rounded off the entire uh, side of this bowl, which is kind of where I wanted to get to. Um, I'll give you a bit of a close up. You know, we've done quite well. Still a lot of waste wood to come off, especially down on these two corners. Um, but you know, the profile on the side is looking a bit better. Um, and really, this is what I'm going to be doing now, probably the next few episodes, just bringing some of this down, um, gradually getting it closer to where I want it to be. Um, so I hope that was useful, guys. I hope, you know, all of these episodes, and I know I'm doing this kind of very sort of step by step, um, and I hope that's you know, keeping people's interest. Um, I didn't want to kind of rush through it and do four or five stages in one go, which I've tried to do in the past, um, just because I think it takes away some of the detail. If you are looking to make something like this yourself, or even if you're you know, following me along, um, you know, I want to make sure you've got enough detail in there um, to see kind of what I'm doing at every step. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. Um, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.